Hey everybody, I'm C. Andrew Nelson, founder of Aquata Sea. It's getting cold outside this time of year. That means it could be cold inside as well. Do you know how to take care of your tanks and keep them warm when it's cold outside? Well, stay tuned and you will. As the temperature outside drops, it's important to know how to brave the cold when it comes to your fish. Having a heated tank and a heated home does not always guarantee that your tropical fish will enjoy tropical temperatures throughout the colder months. Things happen. Fortunately, there are some very simple measures that you can take to assure that your fish will be warm and safe in cold weather. Start by taking preventative action. Be sure your aquarium is not sitting in a draft of cold air, especially at night. Windows and doors in the room where your tank is should be shut. Pull the curtains closed also to help prevent heat loss. And if you sense a draft coming in from under a door, you can install a draft stopper from your local home improvement store or simply place a rolled up towel at the foot of the door to block the draft. Change how you feed your fish. At this time of year, your tropical fish may be susceptible to illness due to stress from a temperature drop. So feed them a nutritious and varied diet that is rich in vitamins and minerals to help boost their immune system. Live foods are very good for that, but if that isn't practical, you can try frozen or freeze-dried foods. Keep in mind that in cooler temperatures, fish will require less food. When temperatures go up, so does your fish's metabolism, and they require more fuel. But when the temperature goes down, the metabolism of your fish does likewise, and they require less food. By reducing the amount of food given to your fish, you can stop them from overeating at a time when their bodies won't easily burn it off. Plus, the aquarium water won't get fouled by uneaten decomposing food. Stock up on medication. If for some reason the temperature in your aquarium decreases dramatically, this could cause stress for your fish. Fish that are under stress are likely to succumb to a variety of illnesses, such as ick or any number of fungal infections. It's always better to have medication on hand and not need it than to need it and not have any on hand. Because by the time you go to the store to get some or order it online, it may be too late. Having a good general purpose fish antibiotic ready at the standby is a wise move. Or at the very least, make sure you have some aquarium salt, not to be confused with marine salt, to use as treatment. If you're not very keen on medications and you want to try some natural alternative methods for treating something like ick, check out a previous video I did called That Icky Feeling. Invest in a large, easy to read thermometer. Make it something that you can read at a glance without having to inspect it closely. Oftentimes, a temperature drop in our aquarium goes unnoticed by us fish keepers until the situation is critical. Sure, a big thermometer in a prominent place on your tank might not look very attractive, especially if you've worked hard to hide your tank's equipment behind the aquascape, but having that info right in front of you at all times could very well save the life of your fish. Run a second heater on your aquarium. Having two submersible heaters with thermostats running on the same tank ensures that if one fails, the other will continue to maintain the aquarium's temperature. And don't worry about overheating your tank. If both heaters are equipped with thermostats, each will shut off automatically when the water reaches the desired temperature and turn on again when needed. It won't double the amount of heat. Alternatively, you can set up a space heater near your aquarium to help make sure that the air surrounding your tank is not chilly. They can be a bit of an energy hog, but it could be worth it if for some reason the submersible heater in your aquarium stops functioning. Just be certain that the space heater is not too close to your tank or set so high that it raises the water's temp beyond where you want it to be. If it's particularly cold where you are and you're concerned about power outages, you can insulate your aquariums. Placing blankets under and around your tank can slow down heat loss and keep your fish at a comfortable temperature for a short while until you can get their aquarium warmer again. Speaking of which, if you need to raise your aquarium's temperature after it is lowered, one of the best ways that I know of is to do a water change. A good sized water change of 30 to 50% where you are replacing the old water with warmer, fresh water can safely increase your tank's temperature. 
but do it gradually so as not to shock your fish's systems. And don't pour hot water into a cold tank to try to quickly heat it up. That's going from one extreme to another, which is always a bad idea. When the weather gets cold, the most important thing is to not panic. Depending upon the type of fish you keep, a temporary decrease in your home's temperature or the temperature of your aquarium may not be as big a concern as you think. Many tropical species won't even be bothered by the temp slipping into the upper or mid 60s Fahrenheit for a short time. Also, keep in mind the size of your tank. Cold weather is a much greater issue for smaller aquariums than it is for larger aquariums. By virtue of their small volume, a nano tank's water is going to cool off faster because there is less of it to cool. Big tanks holding many more gallons of water will take much longer to get cold and may end up maintaining higher water temperature throughout the day than the surrounding room temperature. Through a combination of preventative measures and wise actions, you'll be able to ensure that your fish stay as comfortable as possible during the cold wintry months. And please, don't neglect to take care of yourself while you're taking care of your fish. You won't be doing them any favors if you wind up with bronchitis or pneumonia. Be as good to yourself as you are to your fish. If you want more tips like this regarding the aquarium hobby, then subscribe to the Aquaticy channel and click the little bell notification icon so you don't miss any of our videos. You take care of yourself and your fish, alright? Until next time, blessings to you.